What's happening in Free Game? We are coming to you live, but not live, from inside the Mukbang Studio. As we are having a bit of a backwards day today, because we're having, it's the evening, but we're having our breakfast in the evening. We've got all sorts of breakfasty goodness here, haven't we? Yeah! You're gonna say what we have, JJ? We've got raspberries, watermelon, donuts. We also got peanut butter, ketchup. <laughs> also got cereal. We've got cocoa milk. Cocoa milk. Yeah, more yeah. types of cereal over here. We could have yeah. fit it all in. We could also fit got, all in the camera. We've got ha hazelnut milk, jam, brighter light. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, and, and toast. also marmite. And, and toast. And some cooked meals. Toast. Yeah, yeah we've got some lovely cooked stuff. Sausages, beans, waffles, fried tomatoes, and fried mushrooms. We really wanted hash browns, didn't we, Jojo? We went out looking for them, and there was like two shops that didn't have hash browns. You made a hash of it, you did. I know. I hope <laughs> there isn't like a world shortage of hash browns. My goodness. Thanks. There's no hash browns in this world! And we thought we'd sit down, not only share with you guys the food that we're having, but also answer some of your questions. We put out a post earlier today about questions you guys would like to have answered, and you guys have responded with some very nice questions, so we're going to go over those while we eat. But what we're going to start with eating first. Jojo, what are you going to have? Should we go for the fruit first? Yeah, let's go for the fruit. Why is fruit always a good thing to start off with before other things? It's because the fruit digests a bit more. It digests quicker, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Free tip for you there, free gang. Always eat your fruit first, it digests quicker. Yeah, yeah, that's like if you have like fruit and pasta, don't eat the pasta first, eat the fruit. That's always right. fruit first. Always yeah. fruit first. Alright, <laughs> get the white, calm down, calm down. I get the picture, but we'll have to um, hurry up though because otherwise our cooked food will go cold. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and show for some watermelon and then we'll start looking at your questions. Also comment below if you guys are sitting down and eating at the same time with us, let us know in the comments what you are eating. If you're not eating and you think I'd like to eat with these guys, pause this video and go and get some food, come back and play. We'll all eat together. Yeah. So you're going for some watermelon first. Do you want me to get your bowl, Jojo? Here, you can use your bowl. Okay, the first question is actually for Jojo. Mm. Oh. And it's from Casey Grant. Thanks for your question, Casey Grant. Does Jojo prefer his hair short like you have it now? Or did you like it how you used to have it? I don't think I like it short. This was I don't get my hair brushed all the time and it's just like a really good experience because it really hurted so. yeah you'd get well, the longer it was the knottier it got those of you yeah. that have long hair obviously know about that i know about that yeah i haven't had long hair for a long time <laughs> okay this question is from georgie jh01 do you look up to any other youtubers what would you say mommy mm. <laughs> Yeah, no. Obviously, Family Fizz, Tyra's family. I think I look up to like Only Family Fizz. Do you know who I really like? Tim Sheaf. Yeah. I know he's like our friend anyway, but he just like puts out really good content and he's like, he's inspired us so many, so many ways. I think. And he always puts out there the new things that he's experiencing in life and sharing his thought, thoughts with everyone. And it's a lot of things maybe you haven't thought about and he always puts them out in a really balanced way as well. Check him out if you don't know Tim. Very honest. And also, um, I really like Spirit Science. Jojo likes watching those guys. Oh, yeah. They do like lots of information. But yeah, they explain it with animation, which Jojo really likes seeing as well. And also, like, there's a lot of the people who are part of like the YouTube creators teams where they basically find out all the information on how YouTube works and what can be the help for successful ways of building a channel. Mm. And yeah, they're really good. Like. Uh, Nick Nimmin, really like him. Uh, Daryl Eves, what's uh, Brian G. Johnson? He's funny. Yeah, they yeah. yeah they've really helped us sort of like grow the channel and yeah. figure out ways to do things better. Jojo, do you want to so, jump back in your chair a bit, there, mate? I feel like you're set on the edge of your seat. This isn't an edge of your seat moment, Jojo. Oh, right, here's a simple question: What's all of your favourite colour? I my favourite colour is orange. Jojo. Um, green. Mummy. My favourite colour is blue, but like I mostly like like a turquoise kind of light blue. I like all blues. You but like, like royal blue. I like royal blue, but I also <laughs> like like a sea like watery turquoise blue. I just well. think royal blue from Liar Liar. From the film Liar Liar. Yeah. Oh. The pen is blue. Right. All the watermelon is done. Actually, I'm gonna have a few. Are you gonna have me cereal? I'm gonna have cereal after. I think. I'm gonna have cereal now. 
We got loads of good cereal. Me and Jojo got, oh, they haven't had those in Lidl's for ages. Choco shells. Well, I think I'm gonna have cereal, but first, mm. I just want to wipe my hands and oh. mouth. Okay, lucky I have these. Yeah. I come prepared. I just saw it through the cereal. What cereal would you like? I think I'm gonna go for the choco shells. Yes. These raspberries are really, really good. I'm, yeah. I yeah. love then, a raspberry. Yeah, but like, every, like, raspberries we find in like, every shop, especially Tesco's, are just like the best. They're banging. They're like so super dope. Super dope and I'm, banging. I'm banging. That's good. What use of words. That's okay. some proper fruit <laughs> enthusiasm. Do you just want a few because you're going to have your cooked stuff? Yeah. yeah what yeah. milk do you want? Coconut milk or hazelnut milk? I think I'm gonna have hazelnut. Oh, hazelnut. Coco's really, Coco's one of my favourites. I'm gonna have that one, I think. Do you wanna do that for mummy? Because I've got a bit of a raspberry hand. Yeah, put that over there then. Comment below for again, what's your favourite fruit as well? <laughs> I was just about to say as well, like, which is your favourite raspberry? But I was like, there's only one kind of raspberry, but there isn't. You can get the raspberry, the fruit, and the one when you get someone's bed and go, <laughs> Why are you shaking your head at me? Milk. Good delicate pouring. Comment below if you've ever had breakfast for dinner. Mmm. Yeah, if you're a YouTuber and you have lots of videos, do a breakfast dinner video. Yeah, do it. There's an order pushed out, there we go. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, you move you in, Jojo, that's better. But you're too far away. Questions, there question. was a There was a comment, uh, there was a question about Sam. Yes, uh, where is Sam? Because he is never showed in the vids. So Sam is our eldest son, who is 19. The reason he's not in our vlogs is because he has a full-time job. He's got a girlfriend. He plays cricket on weekends now. He plays cricket on weekends. I asked him the other day, actually, I said, do you want to be in a challenge video, like go up against um, Jamie, because someone suggested it in the comments. Yeah, and he said he actually would like to do that, so. Uh, yeah, you might get to see him in more videos, but he's been in like a few. He's been, he went, was in the um, balloon popping video and our Christmas video. Yeah, he's been in quite a few, but he's not in the, the everyday ones. Florida, um, he was a lot. Oh yeah, he was in Flo uh, the Florida videos a lot. I wish he was in more of our videos because you would see what an amazing guy he is. He's just, isn't it Bob? He's mm. just like the loveliest person you like i'm not just saying it because he's our son but he is just the kindest most compassionate loving person i've ever met he has been ever since ever he since was, he was little he yeah. used to, when he was at school he had like a fan club of teachers <laughs> and they used to come out at the end of the day ones that hadn't met me before they'd come out and they'd be like are you Sam's um, mum am i the second loving person <laughs> oh yes yeah a competition now eh? yeah of course you are, Jojo. <laughs> yeah, but the teachers always used to come out and just be like amazed that um, I was his mum. I, I think they were amazed as well because they expected somebody different. <laughs> I think I, because I, I was quite a young mum as well. They expected uh, me to be older. I don't know, Mommy. but they were they were sort of shocked. Mm. You done with that, Jojo? Yeah. What are you having now? I'm going to look at. Yeah, I've started Ooh. to cook stuff. He doesn't cuddle us so much anymore, but we kind of have to do go and do the cuddling with him. Yeah, he does now and then. He like he's always liked a good cuddle, Sam. Yeah, but he's very much in our lives. He's there in the morning. He's there in the evening. He occasionally pops his head in in our videos just quickly. <laughs> yeah. And then in the comments, you just see who's that? Who's that guy? Who's he, Sam? There's certain food challenge videos that we might have uh, that. We'll, that we'll have coming up very soon. And when he sees the contents of those, he gets very interested. Mm. So he may be involved in those specifically. Well, here's a good question from ALS. Uh, where's the next place you'd like to travel? We haven't got a trip booked. Oh my goodness, next month, in a few weeks, haven't we? Next month? Yeah, we're not gonna tell you where we're traveling yet. We'll find out as and when it comes to it. Mm. Hit that notification bell and you will be kept up to date on when we are traveling. Can I give them a clue? You've got a clue. It's somewhere in America. Oh, okay. And there's like 50 states in America, so guess which state it is. <coughs> we're really excited to go there. Yeah, we're going to be seeing some friends there and exploring in an area we've never been before. And I've kind of always wanted to go there as well. Another place. 
Ireland. We want to go to Ireland. Oh, Isle of Wight. No, Ireland. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> we meant an island. Not an island, actual island. Yeah, a lot of you guys actually suggested that, like come to Ireland. Some people said Northern Ireland as well. The saying come to the Republic of Ireland. I'd love to go there one day. We've yeah. just done so much travelling in the last few months, haven't we? Around the UK and in Paris and yeah, it's been crazy. It feels weird having a week at home. Mm. That was another question. Hang on. It's hard to talk with food in your mouth. Try it, let's see what happens. <laughs> You'll fall down. Yeah, somebody asked, um, are we going to do a meetup? The thing is, we, we do go to lots and lots of festivals all around the country all the time. It'll be in the description of all our videos. Yeah, we've got about four more events this year. And we're normally on a stall for these, so we're going to be in a fixed position. But if not, we're free to come and chat to and everything. Absolutely fine. So, yeah, I mean, maybe next year we could look into that. We'll, we'll see what our schedule's like, but yeah, we'll see. And if you see us walking around on the street, always come and meet us. Yeah. I was in a public toilet the other day and someone said hello to me. Yeah, so even if we're in a restaurant, we're eating, you know, or something like that, you can always come and say hello. I'm going to address this question now. Kiara Bell asked it, but a lot of people asked it. It probably is the most asked question here. Uh, what made us become vegan? Ah, good, good question. Good question. We went vegan four and a half years ago. And mm. um, that was, some of you have asked that as well, how long we've been vegan. And it wasn't something we were necessarily looking for, was it? Are you struggling to get that? No, we weren't looking for it. And I just uh, stumbled across some videos on YouTube and I sent them to you yeah. and some of the videos we ended up watching were quite you know graphic videos about you know what animals have to go through yeah and also what the animal what the animal agriculture industry is doing to the planet you yeah. know it's sort of basically destroying the planet in different ways um, and we just thought we can't participate in this anymore yeah I didn't feel comfortable um, making those choices that contributed to that. And the yeah. thing is before, we just weren't aware, were we? No. Because we made our choices in supermarkets or restaurants and just thought, well, it's just food. It's just what you yeah. do. It's the normal thing. But, but so, so what we did, we looked into it and then we realized it was a very, very healthy way to live. Yeah, it was sort of a no brainer after that when we realized it was one of the most healthy lifestyles on the planet. We were just like, yeah, that's it. And uh, someone else asked, would we ever go back to eating meat? Never in a million years. Never. No. I mean, look at all the stuff we can have, like... This is just the tip of a very, very big iceberg. When I realised I could still have chocolate and mm -hmm. like crisps and chips and pizza and all that stuff. There was one very specific thing that you really enjoyed and that was fish fingers. Oh, yeah. And they didn't even do those now. They did them back then. But you can only get them in Holland and Barrett, I think. Yeah. But they do them in Sainsbury's now, and that's the corn do ones, don't they? Mm. And yeah, there's just such an abundance of food now, so there would never be any sort of temptation that would make us want to go back because you can get that anyway. But more than that, it's just when you've learned what effects some of your choices can have, and you feel empowered to do good by making different choices then it just seems logical to do those things and our lives have got so much better since we did it didn't they yeah haven't they i think that's another question as well someone asked how have your life's changed yeah how have our lives changed well i had a knee injury for 15 years from a i was 15 years old i saw multiple orthopedic surgeons uh, physios doctors i had x-rays i had um, MRI scans and no one could figure out what the problem with my knee was and it would happen in all sorts of situations for 15 years after six months of being vegan the problem completely went and it's never yeah. come back since I had really bad psoriasis as well yeah. the kids had eczema and they, acne acne all over their backs as well and yeah. it just cleared up and yeah and I used to get spots occasionally even though I'm, like, I'm older and I couldn't understand why because I thought it was just a teenager thing I still got spots but yeah, they the, everything cleared. All our skin conditions cleared up, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, got more energy, slept mm. better. Yeah. Um, happier in general as well. I used to have slumps, mood slumps a lot more, um, a lot more mood swings. And I think as well, it's hard to explain this, but life just feels happier and better. And we've met loads of really amazing people. Yeah. We've and met like, some of our best friends we've met through well, it's through doing YouTube, isn't it? Yeah, through... becoming a vegan and being in those networks, I guess, mm. aren't they? And the yeah. food as well. 
I've never enjoyed food as much as I have in the last four and a half years. Yeah. We've true. experimented more with foods and you just come across more taste, more variety. Yeah, and we get excited. Like that that first I remember the first month that we were, we went vegan, we just like went around supermarkets and checking all the ingredients on things and Bob was like in that different aisle shouting out, Katie, we can have polenta or something like that. And like we can have baked beans, yeah. like all the things you like years ago when you think about uh, vegans, years ago it used to be you just used to think they ate lettuce. Fruit and veg only, yeah. Oh, sorry about that noise. It's <laughs> <laughs> the ketchup bottle. So, yeah, we just thought we only could eat lettuce, but like, then you realise most of what we eat is vegan anyway, so mm. it's not it's not that difficult. Mm. Comment below if you um, thought about you are vegan or you thought about going vegan before. Yeah. Did you think it was hard or easy? Yeah. I mean, some people have actually asked as well, do we find anything about it hard? It was very easy. Mummy. Wow. Well, I like questions like this. This is from Real Clips. Where do you hope to see yourself in the future? Yeah, we want to do more traveling, have more fun, make more really cool YouTube videos. Millions of subscribers with a foundation of people who are constantly inspired by things we do and feel that they can better themselves as a result of our videos and they too go on to inspire other people. I want to create ripples in the world, ripples of positivity. If you're wondering why some of the food has decreased and you haven't seen it decrease, it's because the camera died on us and we had to change the battery. It happens. Right, Jojo, what would you like now? I think I might like some more cereal and I'd like that one now. You want this one? Hmm. Are you sure? You're not, you're definitely still hungry, yes? Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, sorry, did I spill some on the table? Yeah. Which milk do you want, hazelnut or coconut? Hazelnut. Okay. Do you want to do it yourself? Here's a question for you, Katie. Okay. What was your previous job? Oh, <laughs> I'm like Jojo. That's what he goes. Like. When someone asks him a question in the Q&A, he goes, ooh. Or find something in the supermarket. Yeah. Um, I used to be a carer for a lovely old lady. And uh, I absolutely loved that job. I just did it part time because I had other commitments as well. But she's gone into a home now. So yeah, so I'm not doing that anymore. Um, but I, I was kind of, I had mixed emotions about it because mm. I really, really loved that job and I loved her so much. But I kept feeling like I was being pulled in other directions anyway. Like since the channel's been growing, I need to put more time into doing things to do with that. Yeah. And. Your full time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? The just... You're a full time Marmite smasher. <laughs> nice transition, I like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, someone said, would Jojo like to wear hair clips or hairbands to keep help keep his hair out of his eyes when playing or eating? He, he does. He does. We've always used those, yeah. Someone actually said, let's stick on uh, the subject of Jojo's hair as well. Would you ever like your hair to be as short as mine? I'd love it to be as short as yours. Really? Mm. Any time I mentioned that before, he used to, used to be like, no, that is way too short. But I guess I guess you're a lot halfway there now, aren't you, compared to before? Also, um, back to the job area. Someone asked me a question about work. Monica Gonzalez said, "What was the best part of working for MTV?" So yeah, for those of you guys that don't know, I used to work at MTV or Viacom. Fourteen years was it? Fourteen years it was, yeah. Mm. Viacom for um, pretty much all of my adult life. Fourteen years. He was institutionalised with yeah. MTV. Yeah, it's all I knew. And I said, I mean, it started off at MTV, but it became their parent company. Oh, sneaky arm coming down. Parent company, Viacom. They had MTV there, Nickelodeon, Comedy Central, BET, and eventually Channel 5, VH1, Viva. It was a big learning experience. It crafted my life and everything I know. I built up a huge amount of media information. I really liked working there. The best parts were I had such a variety of characters that I worked with over the years, you would not believe. A huge amount of different cultures and nationalities there, which I really liked. It was so diverse. It's the most diverse place I've ever been, meeting people from all over the and world. And you got you got to meet lots of famous people. Yeah, saw famous people all the time. That was that was pretty cool. That uh, was really cool when we were in New York City. Something went off. Like and my Wi-Fi connect, my phone connected to their Wi-Fi in the head office in New York. Yeah. The past. Because they have, must have the same thing for mm. employees all around the world. Yeah, it's international like passwords and um, logins and that. You got to work with SpongeBob. 
Yeah, not work with SpongeBob. I did an advert for Comedy Central, a promo for the 2010 World Cup. Bob is a brilliant actor, and he's a really good presenter as well. Because <laughs> he's done something recently, a job for something, somebody, like a sort of presenting job. I can't say much about it, but we got sent it the other night, and it's it was pilot, yeah. yeah, the pilot, and it was. So good. I'm like, why didn't you go into presenting like like as a full-time job? But I, I think you, went to MTV for that's to what that. you plan to, but things yeah. change, don't they? Yeah. But other good parts working there. Seeing how the television channel works, that was really cool. And that room with all the screens. Yeah. Like Where about hundred, went out, like about hundred, hundred screens in one room, wasn't it? it was yeah. So cool. Yeah, it was, a, it was a really good time. It's I've learned a lot from there, but. I'm glad I'm out there. I'm glad I'm doing something different now. I'm glad I'm creating content for you guys. I did actually learn stuff which has helped me with editing and YouTube and having a good eye on video and audio. You done? You've done yeah. a lot, haven't you, mate? You done with your food? You're not done? Why oh are you looking goodness. at my plate? Hey, <laughs> what's that? Oh, there we go. The waffle's gone. The waffle is gone. I should have put more waffles in the oven. Georgia Williamson wants to know what inspired us to do YouTube. This is the funny thing about mukbangs, you can end up asking people questions as they just shove food straight mm. into their mouth. Do the hand thing, mummy. Yeah. Does it actually help? Um, Would you have to do it as well, yeah? It kind of does, because it lets the person know that you are about to speak. <laughs> yeah, um, Bob started YouTube because of me, but even though I was really, really shy back then, and I would have never gone on YouTube back then, so I just wasn't comfortable in front of cameras, mm. I saw other people doing it, and I was like, you should do that, you've got a big mouth. You're good, like he's a, like I said I earlier. Love Bob is like he has the gift of the gab. But like I said earlier, he's really amazing at presenting, and you're good at acting and all that stuff. And you're just good, generally good with an audience. I remember that time as well because it was interesting when you said it. You'd validated a lot of thoughts I'd had because we'd been feeling about wanting to speak out about certain things and been watching. I've been watching people at YouTube while I was at MTV, and you've been watching them at home. And I've been thinking like I could do that if they're doing it for me, and you know I'm engaging with them. Maybe I could do it for other people. But I wasn't confident, and then when you said it, that's what sealed it. Yeah, for me. I was like, like you, really? Yeah, I said yeah. you could do that. You could easily do that. Because if you hadn't said it, I would, I would have just kept it to myself. I think. Yeah, and I just thought. I we said when we first started, we said. <laughs> Sausage just, is gone. He's just well. finishing off my food. <laughs> oh really? You're getting involved as well? Aren't yeah, you? yeah. I'm out of the way. I can't retrieve it. <laughs> Get your arm out of the way. You shouldn't be taking it all the time. You shouldn't be trying to retrieve it in the first place. Um. No, what was I going to say? Stop eat. Stop, stop stealing the things stop. I've stolen. So I said um, about YouTube, I said, even if you inspire one person, it's worth doing. Mm. So that's why, yeah, that's why you started. And before it was just like, it was just Bob talking to a camera. Or oh, showing what I'm doing. Yeah. Hello. Just walking down the street or whatever. Walking down the street. Or talking to animals. Me and the kids started to gradually come into the videos and people were saying, oh, we really like this. And they were like the best videos. They got the most views. We realized that people really like to see family stuff. So yeah, that's why we included more family things. Yeah. I, I, well, yeah, we just got on engagement, haven't we? Really, what people have been being engaged with. Oh, I like these questions. Monica's life, oh yeah. What's your favorite food and where's your favorite place to eat? Jojo, favourite food right now is waffles apparently. Off my plate. What's your favourite food? My favourite food is grapes. Grapes? Okay, where's your favourite place, place to eat? I think probably Vegan Express. Yeah, okay. Mummy, what about you? Favourite food? Oh, it's hard to choose. Oh, of course, mangoes. Hmm. Where's your um, favourite place to eat? Favourite rest. I love eating at home. Because at home you can just stuff your face and no one's watching, except for today. Because mm. everyone's watching us today. Yeah. Um, More that you'll get than you'll get. Yeah. So my favourite restaurant I think is 222's in West Brompton. That's yeah. a really good place. Oh, and there's a, a good pizza place there called Picky Wops. Picky Picky Wop. <laughs> um, oh man, I just love food. I love all food. I love everywhere. Oh, yeah. but where did we discover the other day? Oh, we were in Maidstone, as some of you know, we were in Maidstone in Kent, and there's like that pub. Drake's. Drake's. The, the food in there. Shout out Steph. What a chef. Steph the chef. Steph the chef. Yeah, she's she's good. She knows what she's doing. And yeah, 222 two is my favourite one too. Favourite food. I want to say sandwiches, but... He that... loves sandwiches so much. That's why you had the bread. But where's the bread gone? In my tummy. 
Do you want more? Oh, there's more toast out there. Too. There's two more pieces of toast. No, I think I'm going to move on to cereal. But I think we should have a little cut in this mukbang while we make a pot of tea. What do you say? Right, I'm going to make the tea and I'll be back. Okay, we'll see you in a second. That was one whole second. Look at the way Katie pours the tea. Very sophisticated English woman. I love teapots and cups and saucers. Mm. Mm. Is that from English? <laughs> yes. There's some interesting questions from someone called Bonkers Badger. I like this one. If you could turn into anyone in the world, who would you turn into? Thank you, Mummy. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I want to know it, what happens though. Are you still in control or are you them? And you're like a prisoner. I guess it means you, you are in control. Because I would, now this might seem an interesting one, I think I would turn into Donald Trump. Just because, perceivably, the American- What about your hair, Alan? <laughs> oh no, I didn't think this through. You'd have to have his hair though. You'd, like, <laughs> you'd be flapping around all the time. I, I'd, probably, I'd probably turn into the Hulk. The Hulk? <laughs> no messing with you then. Don't make him angry. Well, Will if you? there's trouble around, then I would probably turn into the Hulk and get angry. Yeah, I think Donald Trump, because they say the American president is the most influential man in the world. Mm. So I think, well, maybe I can make some good change. Yeah. I don't know. Who's <laughs> laughing because you of got that part, hair? Yeah, you got part with that hair. Oh, there you go, thank you. Who would I be? Who would you be? I don't know, really. Anyone in the world. If I was anyone else, I wouldn't be me, and I would think like the way I think. And... I want a donut. You want a donut? Okay. Get your elbow off the table. Manners, manners. <laughs> I'm going to have some strawberry crisp, please, mummy. Do you want to fill me up or pop in the box? Put your bowl in the middle and I'll fill, I'll fill it up. It's so, a combo. Say when. When? No, I didn't say when. You said say when. Are you sure? It? What? You you must be hungry still then. When? Uh, Where's that toast? I put two bits of toast there a minute ago. Mmm. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't want more toast. Mmm. <laughs> Hungry Daddy! Yeah. I've got my grown boy. Can you, you pass me the cocoa, please? There you go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know who I would be. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, maybe someone influential that could make change. I am a bit influential and I can make a bit of change already. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm not saying Donald Trump would work. I'm just, I'm just thinking it. Oh, I wouldn't like to be him. Well, if you were going to be anyone in the world, mm. you'd probably be Jesse from Toy Story. I could, I could, <laughs> I could be Jesse from Toy Story. Another good question from Bonkers Badger. You'll like me answering this, Mummy. What is your favourite song at the moment? <sighs> Can you include the whole soundtrack of a film by any chance? Turn yeah. it up way up and say. Oh, that's a good song by, um, who sings that? Half Moon Run. Half Moon Run. Turn Your Love Way Up Inside, that's a good one. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, update on the, the Bob Obsession. It's still going strong. It's still going. What song is it at the moment? And we will come back home, and we will come back home, home again. Oh. That felt so good. That is, that's the one I've had in my head today. Do you know what? Mm. Is that, the reason I've got into that one for you, game. Jojo, can you sit down please, mate? Hey, no, you might be done. Are you done, Jojo? Yeah, I'm done. All right. Let me get past <laughs> Let me let you out. Can't climb over Minnie Mouse's head. Right. There's a big void in the middle now. I know. Never mind. Just lean in. Now that song, I think, because it's another, uh, there's another video I found where they were rehearsing it to basically get the film greenlit, basically get the okay by the studio this year, we'll pay and do it with them. And the story is Hugh Jackman, who's the main actor, plays uh, P.T. Barnum in it. He had had an operation on his nose and he was told by the doctor he couldn't sing. So in all the rehearsals to show off to this studio, this is what the film is going to be like. He had, he had his skin cancer removed. Yeah, mm. and he had all this stuff on his nose and they had someone else sing it and he was just miming along to show them this is what I will be like in the film. And then it came to that last song, and the person starts singing it, and Hugh Jackman's just standing there, and he's miming it, and then he's just like, um, and his voice just slowly comes in, and he just looks at the person like, no, I'm taking this, and they will just start bellowing it out, and the room just goes crazy. And what I like, like is all the backing singers. At first, they're like, we will come back home, and, and the camera pans to them, and then later on, when it's in that same part of the song, and it's panned away and come back again, they're standing up and jumping and just going crazy. And it, oh man, it's so. <sighs> Do you know what? One thing I need to say as well. 
I can't find the names to give direct shout outs, but there is a brother and sister free game who got in on the comments and it was just beautiful to see. One of them commented, I think it was Caroline McCabe maybe? Yeah. He commented and said, oh, uh, my <laughs> obsession with The Greatest Showman reminded you of your brother. And then your brother came in and commented, and was like, I love you sis, oh, and then you were like, I love you too. And just seeing that in the comments of one of our videos, that was just beautiful. Oh. I love engagements like that. That's probably one of the best things about doing a YouTube and connecting with you guys is seeing how you engage and when you connect with each other as well because we want to inspire a community on YouTube like this of positivity. Yeah. And people openly showing their love and affection and oh bless you, you're welling up. <laughs> your love and affection for each other publicly on YouTube, like or publicly in a social space, whether it's social media or in real life. It's just nice. I to always say. get teary reading um, our comments. Yeah. Always. I know. Because you'll get someone who'll say, Oh, I've had a bad day today, you know, this has really cheered me up. And then someone else, before we've even responded, someone else will respond and say, Oh, I hope you feel better and stuff. Mm. So you know what, so I would say to everyone, just be like that. You, it's so fulfilling to be that kind of person. Don't let anyone in life come away from you feeling worse than yeah. when they, like even if it's the postman or someone like that or someone at a checkout, smile at them and say, oh, thank you so much. And if they say, have a good day, say, you too, you have a good day too. Yeah. You know, and, and like, so I'm gonna invite you guys to, in the comments, if you see uh, someone's comment, comment back to them. Yeah, that's a challenge for you guys. Go and find someone else in the free gang and just say hello or something. Or if someone's saying hi, say hi back to them. You know, anything. If they're making a comment about their favorite movie or their favorite song, you can tell them yours, you know. Yeah. We very much keep and try and encourage a positive environment on our YouTube comments area. So, mm -hmm. and you guys are part of that and you are a big part of the reason why it is so positive. You give us so much love, you give so much love and positivity to each other. So go and reach out to someone else and connect with them too. Anyway, what was your favourite song, Lonnie? <laughs> My favourite song? What? Out of The Greatest Showman? Or... At the moment. At the moment. <laughs> if you go outside <laughs> of The Greatest Showman, I'm not uh, counting it. <laughs> At the moment, there are no good songs outside that, I'm kidding. I like so many songs. That's why we've got a free gang playlist. It's on the channel, so if you want to put your own songs on there, just suggest the songs in the comments and we'll put them on there. Yeah, yeah I can't choose. I can't choose a song. Okay, I'll pick one for you. Let's rewrite the stars. Oh, Why don't we rewrite the stars? Yeah. Rewrite the stars. It's like, oh man, I just love the message in that song. I know, it's really good. Because they... The whole film's got a good message, isn't it? To be accepting and understanding of others. Let's stop talking about The Great Showman now, anyway. Oh. <laughs> You're going to end up looking like the greatest showman at this rate. Do you reckon they've got a costume on YouTube on eBay? A, a greatest showman costume? Hmm. Well, you were just talking about me looking like them. I might as well go the full whole game. Okay? okay, so more questions from you three, gang. Oh, this was an interesting one. What's your, your favourite thing to do in Brighton? In Brighton? There's loads of good restaurants. Oh, I like going on the pier, playing on the 2P machines. Watching Sienna and Jojo get up to mischief now. <laughs> oh, those two. Yeah. yeah, I love Brighton. I've been going to Brighton my whole life. In fact, I, we actually spent Chris. I just spat everywhere. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> this is what happens when it's a mukbang. Yeah, so, so we even went to Brighton on Christmas Day once when I was a kid. I don't know why. Why not? It was, it was cold and everything. Okay, more questions from the free game. Okay, um, oh, Louise Blair is asking for a recommendation. Where is the one place you would most recommend a new traveller to visit? For me, if you're in the UK, I'd say go to the Lake District. Well, so nice if, there. I mean, if you like scenery and, and hills and things like that and mountains. Yeah, if you're outside of London. If you don't. Go don't, to London. Yeah, don't go there if you don't like mountains. Yeah, Bristol's a nice place. Oh, do you know, What's a, where's a nice place? The Isle of Wight. Isle of Wight, yeah. Just a vibe there. Yeah, Isle really of Wight. Nice, really nice vibe there. Denmark, visit Denmark. Denmark's really good. Denmark's <laughs> We good. loved it there. Crete. Crete. Oh my goodness. Yes. We got married in Crete and we've been there recently as well. And oh, it's just beautiful. The people, the Greek people are just lovely anyway. Mm. And it's just, oh man, it's just such a nice place. Oh, I like questions like this. Thank you, Rebecca Taylor, for this. What is good in your day today? Doing this video is good. Connecting with you guys is good. And we woke up really nicely today as well. Someone, um, 
I was asked multiple questions during the Tata Vegan Mama. One of them was actually about um, what time do you wake up in the morning? Seven. Or, um, yeah, between seven and eight. But the good thing is we just wake up organically, don't we? We don't wake up with an alarm. We just wake up on our own terms. And yeah. to, this morning, I don't know, we all just woke up really nicely. And we just took our time and did gratitudes. And then we came in here and played Lego. And I really like playing Lego. That's what's been good in my day, Lego. And I played the Greatest Showman soundtrack. About a hundred times. No, it's only twice. The whole soundtrack twice. What's been good in your day, mummy? Um, drinking this cup of tea. Oh, I went shopping with Jojo earlier and that was really nice. We walked to the co-op and he just got like an amazing imagination. And we just like went right into his little world of like, he created this Minecraft world with all sorts of different things, crystals and things. Hard to keep up with sometimes, isn't it? It is yeah. hard, but yeah, that was really nice. Just having time with him on my own. Oh, Elias, I don't have a question. I just want to say I came across your channel a few days ago and instantly became hooked by Jojo's energy and the energy of the whole family. Thank you, Dawn Carragher. Appreciate you coming onto the channel. Where do you see your channel in a year's time? Oh, what do you think? Maybe the same, but better. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> it was like the old bop it. That's what the bop it used to say. I know, I know. Remember bop it? You used to... You used to get it wrong and it used to go, do it the same, but better. <laughs> no, just like doing more fun stuff, like inspiring more people. It says 100,000 subscribers on our um, board there. We want that by the end of the year. Yeah, maybe by your birthday. Bob's birthday is in December, so maybe that by then. It's not something we focus on though, is it? No, like, we're very present, aren't we? Yeah, we don't focus on numbers too much. Bob always says if we're just inspiring a few people, like if a few people watch our channel, then we're just happy with that, so. I'm just amazed at the fact that you can put a camera on, sit in your front room or wherever in the world, put that onto a computer, edit it together, put it on, out on the internet, and someone who's never met you in life can click on that and decide to watch you and maybe comment is that if just one person can do that i find that truly amazing someone on the other side of the world is could like, be yeah yeah i just find that amazing and we're grateful for every single one of them do a few more questions now just before we round up do you ever plan on touring the usa been to a few places in the usa already haven't we yeah but a tour is when you just go through each of the states in a, in like my dad did it he just basically hired a van like a camper van and traveled in it. He nearly got attacked by a bear, I think. I can't remember exactly what happened, but he said that a bear came pretty close to him. Sure anyway. wasn't Chris just waking up in the night. <laughs> Don't say that. Chris is his wife and she's very lovely. <laughs> she is lovely, apart from when she's a bear. Yeah, that was from a Ash Ace Ash, who's from Wisconsin. Uh, so yeah, comment below if you guys, if any of you are from the USA, uh, whereabouts in the USA and is that an area you'd like us to come and visit one day? Uh, yeah, we've loved going to the US, always had good experiences there. And maybe you'd like to see different areas. I'd like to see some of the rural areas. Yeah, just really go to all the amazing places like the Grand Canyon and places like that. Rebecca Turner's got a very specific question for you, Katie. What's oh, your favourite item of stationery? Oh, pens. Oh man, I just love oh, pens. Yeah, I love pens. You used to love it when I'd be on a course at work and I'd bring home a new pen. Yeah. Oh, give it to me. I know this sounds weird as well. <laughs> this like sounds really odd, but I've seen pens on the pavement before and picked them up and been like, oh. Jackpot. Like, and like, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like I found money or something. And like, yeah, and then I brought them home and like, oh, I hope it works. What's your favourite? It was, it, was, it was for you, that question. Um, What's okay. your, I know your favourite What one? would be your dream item of stationery? Or oh, what if you can make up an item of stationery? Like a pen that does something else. Like a pen that's a torch or something. I like chunky pens. I like, as well, I like pencils. I don't think they do pens like it, but pencils where you have a googly thing on the end. You know, googly like thing, yeah. something that, you know, something that goes on the end of it. Do you know what? I like really smooth pens, ones that flow really like, like a, a biro or something like that. Fluffy Marshmallow wants to know which Disney character is your favourite and why? I've got, I think I'm going to have to have a few. Okay, have a few then. I don't create the rules. What's Fluffy Marshmallow might be upset. Have I got sugar around my face or that? You've got food on your nose. That's where I like to keep it. Um, I love the guy from Aladdin. Oh, his name is Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's his name? What's his name? It's Aladdin, yeah. I like him. I like the Aladdin. <laughs> I used to have like a weird crush on a, on him when I was younger. Can't have been that much. You didn't even know his name. It's weird having a crush on a cartoon character. But yeah, I love um, oh, I love Woody. I love Rex. 
the dinosaur. Oh, have you come for your Jojo. What's your favourite? My favourite Disney character mm -hmm. is probably Mary Poppins. Aww. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, I think she might be mine as well. Love Mary Poppins. Well, you're both wrong anyway. It's going to be, without a doubt, the best is Donald Duck. Because, simply put, Donald Duck is the best. He's been going on about Donald Duck for years. And I'll carry on for more years as well. Do you want to come sit down again, Jojo? Yeah. All right, let me get out then. Are you having that donut, Mummy? No, do you want the donut? Yeah! I want more cereal. You want more cereal? I thought you were done. No! I come back hungry! Alex Worth has asked an interesting question. Will we ever get a pet like a cat or a dog no i think at the moment it would be very irresponsible of us to do that because yeah. pets take a lot of hard work i don't think we're here enough it's yeah it's just a big responsibility mm. but maybe when we're a bit older right we've got time for one more question yeah oh this one someone wants to know where is jamie at the moment jamie is everywhere she's in blackpool at the moment yeah she's gone there with a friend she's basically just loves theme parks and she's always traveling around touring around she's she's uh, even going to different places in europe to go to different theme parks she's a tourist she's a tourist but yeah jamie basically just does what she wants as you probably realize that that's why sometimes she's in our videos Sometimes she's not. Yeah. Yeah, but Jamie's just like, she's just a free spirit. She just, she's just going along and doing whatever she wants to do. Mm. So that's about all the time we've got uh, for on this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed sharing food with us if you've been eating and seeing what we've been eating. Comment below if you'd like to see more of these where we share our food with you and also maybe answer your questions. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see more. And then if you guys are new to this channel and you like seeing how we mix up our days and have our meals in different times of the day and do crazy things like that. We'd love it if you subscribe. Who thinks we should have dinner for breakfast? Don't start the craziness now, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell so you're kept up to date when we do upload videos and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace, Peace out. out. Bye.